Good morning students. Today we have to discuss about the two experiments which are left. So these two experiments, one of the experiment is that the experiment to show that or prove that oxygen is necessary for germination. Okay. So we have to see that experiment, uh, this experiment in which we will prove that oxygen is necessary for germination. So what is the aim of the experiment? Aim of the experiment is to prove that oxygen is necessary for germination. Now we will see what are the things required for this experiment. So the things required for this experiment is the soaked gram seeds. We need two conical flasks and then we need wet cotton over here. Okay, wet cotton over here and here. So these two places. So wet cotton is there. We need the cork and the cork. Uh, these cork will be closing the conical flask and through the help of a thread a test tube is tied and attached in the these two conical flask okay in this test tube what is taken that is plain water and in this test tube what is taken that is alkaline pyrogallic acid okay now both the seeds both the uh, in both the flasks, the seeds are there. So this seed, the seeds in the conical flask A is getting oxygen because the air is trapped in this. And when the air is trapped in this, when the air is trapped in this, uh, there will be oxygen in it. Plain water will also be having the dissolved oxygen. So the plain water will act as a control. Okay, so oxygen is there. Optimum temperature because both these arrangements are kept in the normal room temperature. So optimum temperature is present. Okay, so optimum temperature is present in both the cases and moisture is available because both the cotton wools in both the flask is wet. So all the conditions essential for germination is present in flask A but one condition is absent in flask B. Let's see which condition gets absent in flask B. This alkaline pyrogallic acid will observe, um, absorb the oxygen present in the closed space. So whatever oxygen will be there that will get absorbed in the alkaline pyrogallic acid. So which condition essential for germination is absent in flask B? That is oxygen. And why it, it is oxygen? Because oxygen gets absorbed by the alkaline pyrogallic acid in the closed space. Now what are the con two conditions present over here? That is optimum temperature is present and moisture is present. But oxygen is absent so that is why the seeds in flask B will not show the signs of germination. Whereas the seeds in flask A is showing all the signs of germination. So your observation in case A will be that the seeds in flask A will show the signs of germination whereas the ob observation in flask B that the seeds in flask B will not show the signs of germination. Now what is the reason for your observation in flask, uh, case A? The reason is all the conditions essential for germination that is optimum temperature, moisture and oxygen is present in flask A. In this what is the reason? One of the condition that is oxygen is not present in flask B. Why oxygen is not present in flask B? Because alkaline pyrogallic acid will absorb the oxygen from the closed space. So that is why the seeds in flask B will not germinate. Okay. Now one reasoning based question may be asked that why oxygen is necessary for germination. What we have seen in the starting that germination is a highly active phase of uh, highly metabolic active phase okay the rate of metabolic activities is very high in case of germination so that is why to maintain that high rate of metabolic activities there will be the requirement of energy and to fulfill that requirement of energy there will be higher rate of respiration okay there will be higher rate of respiration and to maintain that higher rate of respiration there will be the requirement of oxygen. So that is why oxygen is an essential component or essential factor for the process of germination. 
Now let's see the next experiment. Next experiment is a three bean seed experiment. So what is the arrangement over here? You just see. In this experiment, we need to take a beaker. Okay. So this is a beaker. We have taken a slide, glass slide. And on the glass slide, with the help of the marker, we have marked A, B and C. Okay. The beaker is half filled with water. Okay. With the help of a thread, the three bean seed are attached on this slide at the position A, B and C. Now, you have to observe what will be the observation in case A, in case B and in case C. The seeds is not showing the signs of germination in position A, whereas the seeds of position B is showing the signs of germination and in position C again the seeds are not showing the signs of germination or if shown also very less. The reason in case A, which of the two factors are present? Here the two factors are present and one factor is missing. Two factors that is optimum temperature is here and oxygen is here but moisture is not here. So, due to the lack of the moisture, the seed at the position A fails to germinate. Whereas in case B, the seed is getting all the three essential conditions required for germination that is oxygen, moisture and optimum temperature. So, that is why C, bean seed at the position B will show the signs of germination. Then what happens at C? Here it is having the optimum temperature, here it is having the moisture but the concentration of oxygen available to them is very low. Why? Because it is immersed inside the water. So, whatever would be the dissolved oxygen, uh, whatever uh, would be the dissolved oxygen over here, only that much of oxygen will be made available to this seed at C. So, that is why very less or minor signs of seeds will be found over here okay understood it so this is how you have to write down the observation you have questions already i have given now you are able to answer all these questions the observation and the reason for observation you have to mention the conditions available and the condition not available because of which the germination has taken place or not taken place so this is all for the today's class Thank you class.